Eternal Return has released a new mode. Cobalt Protocol is supposed to be more of a new player friendly, a RAM type game, but it's still got a few tricky parts here and there. So here's a quick guide to get you acclimated a bit faster. Starting out the game, it's a 4v4, so you can queue in solo or a full stack or anything in between. Each team starts with 40 points, and if you die, you lose a point. You also lose points from the objectives, aka beacons. It's a capture the point style game where once you capture one of the beacons, you wait for the timer to go all the way down, and when it does, you get a point. Um, I will note that phase one is worth double points for the objectives, but it's a lot harder to score. Also, these beacons give buffs, so that is another reason they're nice to have. And outside of killing and the beacons, the only other way to get points is by killing Gamma. Gamma's a robot that spawns on the map, but we'll, we'll talk about Gamma in a bit. Now, let's talk about the credit system in this mode. You get credits from killing drones and animals all around the map, and credits let you buy infusions, which are cobalt exclusive augments, which in layman terms give you power-ups. Credits also let you reroll the items that you have. You can reroll any of your slots and you get five of them a game. Other than that, you can buy two cobalt exclusive items and maybe, maybe you can get some cameras, you know? <laughs> so that's the basic info. Let's give you a quick rundown of like how an average game should look. You load in, you draft your characters, everyone starts with one selected and four to pick from. So your team has a total of eight characters to choose from in total. Then halfway through the pick process, you get your other team's four characters that they did not want. So you have 12 characters through the entire selection process that you can choose from. With your team finalized, you also pick one main augment and you're good to go. Dak.gg I think is a good resource for what augments are good for specific characters, but I don't think they're make or break. So once you load in, you actually draft your loadout. So instead of crafting in this mode, you're just gonna pick what items you want. They give you about 30 seconds and you get two items to pick from and then a random item if you don't like any of those, which you'll get a few credits for if you choose random. And at the end, you should have something like 20 some credits that you can slap on a quick infusion. So then I grab some shield, TP into lane with my teammate, and you want to grab your drones first. Usually ranged characters can do these over the wall, and then I typically do dog and boar together and finish up on wolves. At this point, we pop on over, contest the beacon, and if we win that fight, we'll usually go ahead and grab bear, which once a bear dies, it gives you shield on death. After two minutes passes, phase two will begin and the whole map opens up. You usually go for the middle beacon since it's not contested and you should start fighting more as a 4v4. There's reasons not to group up like stealing beacons or doing a little ninja defuses, but for the most part, there's strength in numbers, so I recommend grouping up with your team. And in this phase, Omega will also show up. He's one of those robots, but how he's different from Gamma is instead of giving points, he'll give your team just a ton of credits to spend. So whichever team last hits Omega is gonna get those credits. All right, so phase three hits. Not much is different about phase three, except Gamma appears. Gamma is kind of like Omega, except you do get those actual points, and Gamma can't be reset. So that means his health bar, how much you take off him, is gonna be permanent. But once you start Gamma, it's really risky. People can come third party you, so it's high risk, high reward. The little orange boxes next to them act as bushes, so you can always sit in there looking to steal, since Whoever gets the last hit gets those six points. And finally, Gamma has two attacks. They're super easy to dodge, but he's a tanky boy, so it's gonna take a bit to kill him. Other than that, I think the biggest tip I can give is whenever you die, immediately start spending those credits. Start buying and upgrading your infusions, or start re-rolling for your gear, because the sooner you can get back into the game to help your team, the better. And to wrap up, some characters with unique passives got some changes and damage numbers are going to vary game mode to game mode. So if you're like, wow, why is Adriana doing less damage in this mode than she was in solos? That's probably why. 
But if you have any questions, ask away in the comments. Or if you see me in game, make sure to make sure to say hi. I, I appreciate those interactions. And I'm streaming live right now. I'm playing Cobalt Protocol, giving away NP along with the drops. So I hope to see you there. And thank you guys for watching my videos. Super appreciate it. And I'll see you.